Okay, so for those that are new here, I do YouTube reviews on amateur radios, much like this one. And a lot of times I fill it with my subjective opinions, how I like the look and feel of radios, how they function to me, my personal thoughts. And while I think that's valuable for some folks, I also think that it's good to round it out with undeniable objective data. And so that's what we're doing out here. I'm about a mile away from my home as the crow flies for testing VHF, UHF antennas and radios. A mile out's about good enough for what we're gonna do and how we're doing this is I have an SDR at home connected to a discone antenna that allows me to pick up any signals that I transmit from this park. And I will get a non-subjective result because the signal to noise ratio of every transmission when, for instance, I change antennas will vary. We're looking for the highest number possible for signal to noise ratio. And that highest number is generally our winner. From here, I can, I can test radios by keeping the same antenna and switching radios, or I can take the same radio and test different antennas. It gives me a really objective way of getting the details out of how all of this stuff works. So today, you asked for it. We're doing the N9TAX versus the last winner of the J-Pole throwdown, the Ed Fong J-Pole. Who do you think is going to win? Let's get started. All right, so much like the last time, it's pretty straightforward how we do this. I literally just connect the antenna up, get it in the air, connect it to a radio, squawk out on two meters and 70 centimeters, and we look at the numbers. But I have a little bit of fun that I also have a res uh, transmit radio at home that I have set up for remote control, so it's completely under my own control. And I use that to send in a test signal along with my call sign. And that allows us to get a pretty good idea of how a particular radio or antenna functions when compared against other radios and other antennas. So this is my little cheap fishing pole that I got, and this is like little, really small. It only goes up about uh, 12 feet or so. I use this for VHF, UHF roll-up antennas. I will post the link in the description. So many people asked about it the last time we did the J-Pole video, and I got it up, but it took me a while to get there, so I apologize for everybody that wanted this antenna. Okay, now's about the time. Let's unwrap this. This is literally the first time I'm, I'm getting to look at this. I try and hold back a lot of my thoughts until we get out into the field. Ooh, we got a muddy ground, so we gotta make sure we don't let that BNC touch there. And, oh, we lost our hook. Where'd the hook go? Well, I don't need it for what I'm doing, but uh, N9TAX also provides a hook. It goes through this little hole and it allows you to easily mount this, but it looks like I lost it somewhere along the way. No big deal, I'll just use my little S clip here. By the way, if you're at um, a Walmart or anything, they sell this by the bundle, like a spool of it. It is just thick rubber coating on a piece of metal wire. It is reusable, cut to size. It's fantastic for lashing things to your, your packs. It's fantastic for holding up antenna mass like I'm doing right here. I just go through the park table like a so. All right, I'm gonna take off my tri-band antenna that I have on this radio. I generally use adapters for most of my radios, B and C adapters. Today is no exception. Here's a B and C adapter for my handheld here. First test is against two meters. Hilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, transmitting with the N9TAX J-Pole at on two meters on high power. Okay, flip it over here to 70 centimeters. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, testing the N9TAX roll-up J-Pole, 70 centimeters, high power. So what happened to the N9TAX on transmit on 70 centimeters? Well, one of two things. One, the antenna actually has an issue, or two, I screwed something up, either in the SDR software or on the radio, but I did multiple videos on that day on 70 centimeters testing, and including the Ed Fong, which is coming up, recorded fine. So I will retest this. I'll double check it in my shack and make sure that it's a functioning antenna. Keep in mind, this was literally my first experience in the field. I don't normally do these blind reviews like that. I tried something and maybe it didn't work out perfectly. Okay, so that's the transmit test. What we need to do now is flip the tables a bit. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu test. 
Okay, so that is the N9TAX. Let's compare it with another test against the Ed Fong. I have, oddly enough, I have no complaints uh, against the N9TAX. The N9TAX has a, a full twin lead setup for the antenna, which is uh, kind of like what the um, Radio Waves has. But actually, the N9TAX is bigger. And I'll be honest, I, <laughs> I, I'm okay with it. I don't know why. I, there's something about that Radio Waves. And although it didn't win, I, I, even if it did win, I, I don't think I would, I would use it. Just personally, it's, it's just aesthetically not what I'm looking for. So a couple of, of notes here. You do have a traditional twin lead, as you can see, for this antenna. And it meets up here at the bottom, which what looks like a bit of a ferrite setup, which is nice. That's really nice to have. Nice that they include that. Ooh, I just saw sprinklers turn on. <laughs> I hope they don't turn sprinklers on over here. We're going to be GoPro only. Yeah, then you kind of take the two, mash them together here. Something like that. Uh, there is a velcro strap which i don't even know how they got the velcro strap to go all the way around something like that maybe close enough yeah good good enough okay antenna hopefully let's see just size for size though you can see the comparison between the two ed fong takes up a, a tiny amount of space this is the actual antenna for the ed fong pretty small and i just wrap it up with the coax it uses twin lead the same but this twin lead is um, it's much smaller. All right, now we have the Ed Fong J-Pole. We're gonna do a two meter test, high power. Hilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu testing the Ed Fong J-Pole. High power, two meters on simplex at 11.38 a.m. All right, flip it over to 70 centimeters. Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu testing the Ed Fong J-Pole. 70 centimeters, high power at 11.38 a.m. Okay, now let's flip her back over to two meters and we're gonna do a speaker test. That's a simple audio test and uh, like I mentioned in the last video, I don't think it's gonna show us much for J-poles. So there you go, there's the test. Let's take a look at the numbers and I'll give you my thoughts. All right, so how do we take these breakaway numbers? Well, first, Editor Josh from the future wants to let everybody know that I did test the N9TAX, and it is a wonderfully functioning antenna. It has a low SWR. I'm putting all the power I need to out at the antenna when I am in my ham shack. That means I owe you all an update to these numbers for 70 centimeters to get the N9TAX the right number displayed here. You can see it's a point seven, which is the lowest mark. That is not accurate. We're going to get that straightened out. I don't know what happened there, but I'll fix it. And it'll be a part of a future one of these park videos. So you can look forward to that. With that said, I think it's safe to say that even with non-definitive numbers on 70 centimeters, that both of these antennas are pretty much the best that you can get for a for a roll-up J-pole. The Ed Fong looks like it has about 2.2 dB higher in the best case scenario when looking at the comparison there on two meters against the N9 TAX. Six dB to get you to a full S unit of difference. So that's a considerable amount, but I'm curious now when we look at the 70 centimeter numbers again, I promise you I will update those numbers, that perhaps the N9 TAX is cut a little bit more effectively for 70 centimeters because as you can see with the Ed Fong, it takes quite a dive there when you're looking at 70 centimeters, not that great of an antenna. In fact, I don't think it does that much better than a signal stuff signal stick at that point. Generally, these roll-up J-poles work the best on two meters, making them really effective antennas for you know doing two meter type things, right? When you're out in the field, throw one up in a tree and you're off and running. Good for field expedient communications, emergency preparedness type stuff and connecting to maybe a mobile radio when you're out there and you want that full 50 watt output. So I think good numbers from the N9 TAX. Ed Fong still, still in the lead for the Ed Fong. So my money still goes there from a convenience factor as well. But anyway, let's continue. All right, so my thoughts are the Ed Fong J-Pole is still the, the most 
portable uh, out of these antennas, all three of them now. I didn't need to, to bring the Edfong out into the field. We already have the numbers. I can just take the numbers from the last time we did this test and uh, just show them to you on the screen without having to make a talk about it. But let's, let's show this up for comparison here. Uh, Ed Fong is right here, and here's the N9TAX. I, I don't, uh, I don't know. So obviously, you, you've already heard the verdict on which one's better, but I can't tell from looking at them like which one's going to be a better one. I do appreciate that there is a, a ferrite attached to this, kind of like at the feed point of the antenna. That is uh, is cool. So if I was considering having more of like an APRS station or something to do digital for Winlink, uh, Vara FM, for instance, maybe this would be the better option. Yeah, anyway, were you surprised by the results? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, these all these tests generally are funded out of my pocket. I bought all these antennas, except for the exception of one radio, which you saw in the last video. And if you haven't seen the rest of the testing I do here for practical objective testing, take the link that's showing up on the screen right now or the link in the description to the playlist that I made for my practical testing approach. I'm Josh KI6NAZ. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. See ya. Why don't you stick your c back in there to find out? Wow. I didn't expect that.